Hello and welcome to Top10List.org, where you get a world of knowledge and 10 simple points. Today's episode is going to be about ironies of life, and we're going to begin at number 10 with bullying. This explains it all. It is the most tragic experience of life when it comes to being bullied at school or college. The most common thing you hear about as bullies is that they always target juniors or their own classmates who are very timid and do almost everything that they are told to do. But it takes great courage to bully a professional boxer's child. Yes, you heard me right. It is a fact that a professional boxer's son got bullied at school. Number 9, all about marriage counselors. Marriage counselors are experts in the field of handling going to break relationships, and they help fill up the gap between a husband and wife by talking it out with them. How would you react if I were to say that there exists a divorce who is a marriage counselor? Strange, isn't it? Number 8, Mr. Jimmy with a pot belly. Fitness has an all new language when it comes to burning out the fat and professional guidance. I mean to say, if you hit the gym, you need an instructor who will guide you through all the various activities in your weight loss program. But what's the irony here, you must be thinking? I've not yet come to it, and this is the best part. You will have to say it would be ironic if your instructor has a huge pot belly himself and has come to give you instruction at the gym. That's hilarious. Number seven, that moment when your brain stops working. Yeah, I'm talking about stage fright. They say people that think that dying is much easier than delivering a speech in front of a crowd. There are people like that that do exist. Even the most successful speakers have this problem. When it comes to speaking up, it hits our legs. More than speaking out, you are concentrating on your legs, which have held you tight in a place not letting you move, but wobbling in that still position in fear. Lecturers too experience this. Now this is the irony here, a lecturer who has stage fright. Number six, hey vet, my dog wants an appointment. Pets are always loved and cared for, like any parent loves and cares for their child. Just a small scratch on the child's skin and the parents rush to the doctor. This is the case with their pets as well. It's a pet to the owners, but just a dog to the vet. Who knows how the doc will treat that pet if he himself is scared of it. Believe it or not, there are vets who are scared of animals. Number five, who developed that software? Not all people know languages, and I'm talking about a language which cannot be spoken, but only written. It's called programming language. Software developers are very much respected all over the world. Because of them, life has been so much easier down the line. But some software engineers are rejected in interview selections all for the same reason. You know what reason? Take a guess. It's because they don't know C programming, the basics of programming. What an insult to Dennis Ritchie, the creator of C and C++ programming. Number four, mummy blood stains. It's natural when a person sees blood and faints. Some people have the fear of just the sight of blood. It's called hemophobia. Doctors, the operation theater is ready, the nurse screams, and the doctor wears his gloves and puts on his green mask and walks into the operation theater. He checks his patient who is lying on the bed and is sure that the anesthesia has had its effect on the patient. He takes a surgical knife and makes a slit on the skin and screams out loud and faints. The patient wakes up and looks at the nurse and the nurse says, it's nothing to worry about, your doc has hemophobia. Three, help, I am about to drown. Most children don't inherit the characters of their parents, but it is a very common thing that people always compare their children with their parents. They often comment on the similarities and differences they have. So you can say there is an irony when you come across a naval officer's child who cannot swim. Number two, insult to the uniform. Most people are arrested for committing various crimes. When you come across the word crime, you mostly get a picture of thieves, thugs, murderers, terrorists, all these other things in mind. And when it comes across to the word police, you get words safety and security in mind. Why don't you put this the other way around? Can't digest it, right? But you have to accept the fact that even police commit crimes and get arrested. Number one, illiteracy to literacy. Often children of illiterate parents are working and are serious about life. Since they have a practical example in front of them, they know the value of education and so they strive hard to achieve success. And this motivation leads to a person becoming a best-selling author. Now that you know what a literacy to literacy actually means. Thank you for joining us on a very ironic episode of Top 10. If you enjoyed, click subscribe and don't hesitate to join us again for another edition of Top 10.